Deep in the mountain, Renesco injects a gel into the rock of a newly constructed tunnel. Injections are made through approximately 65,000 drill holes. The reason lies in the geological layers that the tunnel runs through. They are partly water-bearing, partly dry. In the dry layers, there are areas with anhydrite-bearing rock. It is normally separated from the groundwater by the surrounding layers. During tunnel construction, however, new cracks and gaps emerge in the rock surrounding the tunnel, the zone loosened by excavation. If groundwater then penetrates through the gaps in the zone loosened by excavation into areas with anhydrite-bearing rock, this can lead to huge problems. On contact with water, the anhydrite swells up to 17%, which accordingly leads to signs of swelling and hence to elevations that must be prevented. When it swells, the rock develops large forces and can seriously damage even solid tunnel tubes, like here in the case of the Staufen Tunnel in Breisgau. The forces can cause elevations up to the surface of the ground, even on tunnels covered by a large amount of earth. The challenge is to prevent water from coming into contact with the anhydrite, which is why elaborate injections are necessary here. The injections are made through drill holes up to 10 meters long. Renesco uses a two-component acrylate gel as injection grout. It is pressed through the drill holes into the fissures of the excavation-damaged zone. The gel hardens after approximately 10 minutes, thereby permanently sealing the fissures. Injections are executed at the border zone to the anhydrite-bearing rock formations. Never before has this acrylate injection technique been used on such a scale. As it's not possible to see the injections in the rock, the 130,000 injections have to be carried out neatly and must be documented exactly. The conventional purely manual way with up to 500 injections per day meant a lot of administration work and low availability of data. To optimize the traditional work processes and make the best use of the collected data, Renesco, together with partners, developed a digital data and documentation management system, especially for grouting works. This interactive system is cloud-based. The planned injections are recorded in the system and checked and processed by the site management. All areas of the construction site are connected to the system and the verified data regarding the planned drill holes are automatically transmitted to the drilling rig. Based on this data, the machine operator positions the holes accurately to within a few centimeters. The rig logs the exact position of each hole, the work duration and the performance data during drilling, which allows conclusions to be drawn about the rock hardness and reports this back to the central database. The building management is thus informed about the work progress and approves the tunnel areas that have been drilled for injection with a defined sequence. The reusable packers are set in place by hand. To fill them, the drill hole must be vented at the highest point. For horizontal holes or those pointing upwards, a ventilation hose is therefore pushed up to the end of the hole and fitted onto the vent hole in the packer. The packers are tensioned in the drill hole by means of compressed air and simultaneously seal it, so-called deep packers. The acrylate gel is made up of two components which are mixed separately on site using ingredients and containers filled at the factory. This ensures the mixing ratio. The mixing and injection system works highly precisely and was developed and constructed by Renesco with partners. All the relevant parameters, such as the production temperature of the two components, are monitored and documented. Samples of the newly mixed batches of the two components are archived on a regular basis. To ensure the right mixing ratio when making the injection, the feed rate of the two components is also regularly checked. Finally, the components are mixed to make the finished gel for test purposes. It is now still very runny for about 10 minutes and penetrates even the smallest gaps in the rock. It then solidifies and ultimately turns into a rubber-like substance. Every day several samples of the finished gel are checked and archived with regard to its reaction time before use. 
The components of the gel are then pumped to the drill hole through separate pipelines. They are brought together here in the mixing head and injected. After a short time, the drill hole is filled with gel, the vent overflows and is sealed. The acrylate gel is then injected into the mountain with a maximum pressure of five and a half bar. The behavior of the gel in the rock cannot be monitored directly, but the progression of the injection pressure and the flow rate allow conclusions about the processes in the rock. The values are constantly checked and transferred to the system cloud. The highly detailed logs of the injections, combined with the data about the drill holes and the gel, are available online all the time. The data stored in the cloud can be analyzed, evaluated and checked by all project participants. Project adjustments are immediately available. Thanks to the always accurate data, the site management has less administration work and can focus more on the actual work using informative illustration and analysis tools. All project stakeholders get customized overviews and visualizations adapted to their needs. Thus, the injections can be geo-referenced and be presented with associated documents and logs. Work progress and quality can be monitored permanently. Simultaneously, the collected data is transmitted to the client's building information model as highly detailed project documentation. With this new management system, Renesco is the first company to illustrate, manage and document complex grouting technology processes in the building information model.